Good evening, I'm in pain and the suffering never ends. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a cool overlay in CS Timer uh, that I have at the end of all my uh, review videos for cubes. So uh, yeah, there's two ways that you can do this. One of them goes a lot easier on your computer and the other one looks a little better, but if you have a slower computer, it might uh, make your computer cry. So yeah, first things first, you wanna download uh, OBS. It's uh, what? Why is the typing cursor thing? Anyway, uh, this is OBS. It's what everyone uses to record their screen pretty much, except for PewDiePie, he uses Bandicam, which I'm pretty sure goes against the Geneva Convention. So OBS, everyone uses it, it's free. I use it, it's really good. And that's how we're gonna be doing this today. Uh, next, we wanna open up CS Timer. So yeah, this is uh, CS Timer. And then we wanna open up OBS. Within OBS, you're gonna see something called Scenes here and click the plus underneath it. Let's uh, name it uh, this timer uh, overlay. Perfect. Next, you're going to want to go to the sources tab, click the arrow, and then add a window capture and uh, make sure it's capturing CS timer, which it is. And you probably want to disable capture cursor. Now, this is recording the CS timer window that I have open. Uh, next, what you want to do is duplicate this by copy and paste duplicate. I don't know what the difference between paste reference and paste duplicate is, but whatever. Now that we have two, actually, you're probably going to want three. I'll explain why later. So uh, let's disable two of them for once. This little eye uh, disables them. Uh, they all look the same, so it doesn't look like anything's happening, but yeah. So let's first take this first one down here and hold alt and drag on this little square here, and that will crop the uh, where it's capturing. And uh, yeah, so you can just capture one part of the screen. And let's reveal the other one. You wanna crop this one so that it's just the scramble up here, like this. And if you don't hold Alt and you drag this, it resizes it. You wanna resize it and put it at the top. And that's already looking pretty good. And then you take the third one and crop out everything but the timer itself and put that down. I like to put it down here, you can put it up here if you want, you can put it in the middle, you can whatever you want to do, whatever boats your float, make sure it's sort of symmetrical, I guess. And then you can add your camera in here, which I don't have plugged in, so I'm just going to be adding uh, Felix here. And you, you want to make sure the image is at the bottom of the, of the list of all these so that all this shows up on top of it. So yeah, there you go, that's, uh, that's that. But also, uh, what you could do is replace it with just blue instead. Uh, so if you don't know what blue is, this is what it looks like. And uh, I will have this picture of blue linked in the description. You can right click on it, save image, and then you wanna add it as an image. Uh, you can call it blue, add it, and make sure that's at the bottom as well. And now, instead of a, your camera here, you can have blue, and in a video editing software like Adobe Premiere, uh, you can have it replace this blue with something else, like a camera, for example. So this is actually what I usually do for my videos, because I usually record my screen on the computer, but I record my solves with my phone, and then I can put them together in my editing software and remove the blue and show my camera through. So yeah, the downsides of this are, first of all, you get like some s weird stuff on the borders of certain things, unless you're like perfect with how you crop things. And it like, sometimes you have things like covering other stuff. It just looks kind of weird. And also if you switch your CS timer session to something, notice the sizes of the scramble panel and the, uh, the statistics over here change. And that messes with this. So anytime you change your session in CS timer, you're going to have to resize your stuff here. And that can be a real pain. Oh, and also pro tip within CS timer, you want to go up here to option uh, and uncheck hide all elements when timing. So like if it's checked, you see all of the what? Why? It hides all of the UI when you're doing a solve and that, uh, that'll look weird in the this. So you wanna uncheck that so it keeps everything on screen while you're doing solves. But uh, yeah, so that's the first way, the quick and dirty way that's uh, easy on your computer, but it doesn't look quite as good as this next one that I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna make another scene here. Uh, I'm gonna call it the better CS timer overlay. 
And uh, yeah, this time you're gonna wanna go get that blue again. Actually, this time you're not you don't need to download it for this one. You just need to copy this URL and in your CS timer settings, go to display and set the background image to manual and paste the link to the blue. And oh yeah, make sure this is set to 100% background image opacity. I think at, by default it's 80. We want it at 100. So yeah, now the background of this is blue. And the reason why we're adding it as a background image instead of just uh, changing the color in here to uh, blue is because that, uh, first of all, didn't work. Yeah, it changes the color of the buttons, which is ugly. So uglier, I know it looks ugly. I'll address that later. Yes, hello, uh, this is uh, Crimson from the future. I just realized I forgot to address that. This looks ugly, but you can actually disable it without having to set it all up again. You just uh, go to your options here, uh, go to display, and instead of switching the background image to none, uh, which every time you switch it back, you'll have to paste this link again. It, it doesn't save it usually. Instead of doing that, you can just set the background image opacity to zero and there you go no more ugly blue and now you're gonna want to go back into your obs create a window capture and this time click this filters here click the plus and add a color key now fun fact this is actually a green screen effect Actually, that's what I was talking about earlier with the um, with the other one. You can use software to replace one color in a video with uh, something else, like another video. Yeah, the reason why we're not using green like usual is because in CS Timer, when you press and hold, the numbers actually turn green. So if you had it set to green, it would remove the numbers, which is no, we want so blue instead. And this won't work if your CS timer theme has blue in it. Another thing you could have is magenta. So yeah, blue works for me. Actually, you can probably see there's like a little bit of blue, uh, a blue halo around everything. So if you just up the smoothness here, that should get rid of that. Or I don't know, up the similarity a little and then up the smooth. You should just do some tweaking with this, but be careful because if you put the similarity too high, it starts taking out stuff that you actually want. So make sure it's like not you're not going overboard with it. And uh, yeah, once you've got that dialed in, which I don't, you can copy this and duplicate and duplicate. What you're going to want to do is uh, what? Why is are these capturing the cursor? Yeah, you don't you want to make sure it's not capturing the cursor, which uh, I actually only recently realized in some of my YouTube videos, you can see my mouse on the screen in the CS timer overlay and it's uh, really bad. But uh, yeah, now if we add the camera or in my case, it's um, Felix's face like this, move it down to the bottom. There you go. You got your camera in your CS timer. But wait a minute, you don't want the numbers in the middle of it. So that's why we made three of them. I'm gonna do similar to what we did in the other one. I'm gonna crop this. You don't have to fully crop it. Oh yeah, by the way, this one especially works better if you have CS timer in full screen. So you don't have this uh, window bar up here. But yeah, you wanna crop it until the numbers. You don't wanna crop it right up against the numbers because it'll like spill over. So you wanna give it like a d decent amount of breathing room and then take the other one crop it from the bottom and uh, that one you can cut it a little closer because the numbers don't go up very far and then this third one you can crop out everything else and that one can be just the timer now this one can be a little weird because it has no background so it's just floating numbers so what you can do is you can add your own image of black like this and then downscale it and put it underneath everything else. And there you go. It's a nice background for numbers of the timer. Uh, yeah, but uh, doesn't this look absolutely fantastic? Actually, I think if I make this full screen, it won't even break. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look. Doesn't that look amazing? Yeah, and then the same thing applies to this one. You can add an image of blue over everything and uh, you can add your camera in video editing. But also, if you're gonna do this and add it in later, you can disable the green screen filters, the color key filters, uh, and that will help make your computer die less. And you can't even tell because it's the same color. Also, you don't have to do it exactly like this. You can uh, have it just be the timer. If you go like that, you can just have your timer in the bottom right. Um, this also doesn't just work with um, recording. If you click this start virtual camera button down here, uh, it'll work with Discord. Uh, in Discord, you can switch your camera 
camera to be your OBS. So you can have cool stuff in Discord and you can show off to all your friends. And then when they ask, uh, hey, how, how, how'd you do that? You gotta send them this video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If I missed something, which I know I probably did, you can uh, leave a comment with any questions or if you know something that might help out other people who are doing this, uh, I will reply. I read like every single comment I get. So yeah, uh, leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more, use discount code DRAGON on speakeepshop.com, and if you like the song you're hearing right now, links in the description, I made the song, go listen to the song, goodbye.